Hey, good morning. It's Mr. Brown. Today we're going to be getting into Bridge Designer. What Bridge Designer is, is that is our simulator program where we can design a bridge, come up with a bridge, and then we can actually test a load going across it. It's not a game. It's a super scientific thing where you get to test out your bridge designs. So if you are on a school computer, it should be pretty simple to get to. You'll just go to the start menu. You'll scroll down to my applications. You'll click on that and it'll go down to bridge designer 2016 second edition. So you'll click on that, click on it once. It's going to take a few seconds to load, especially the first time because it's going to load on your computer there. If you are not on a school computer, there will be directions on Schoology. It'll say, look here, if you're not using a school laptop, it'll say Bridge Designer installation for non-school computers. So those are the instructions of how to do it. And then right here is your setup, Bridge Designer v16j.exe is the uh, installation file right there. So follow those directions if you're not on a school computer. Um, unfortunately, since so many of you can be on different computers, I can't go through every simple, every single setup. Um, but on the school laptops, I definitely can. If you still can't do it, you have issues, let me know. I'll try to work with you, but it may be that you just have to get a school laptop for a couple of weeks just to work on that one. Uh, while that is still loading, I'm just going to re-go over trusses. So. What we're going to be building for our bridge product is a truss bridge. So remember the truss bridge is the one with a whole bunch of triangles. This is my super scientific display right here. All right, so I've got this. This is a square. A square is a beautiful shape. A square is a horrible shape for a bridge because if I have my square right here, if I press over here, it's going to collapse. If I press over here, it's going to collapse. If I press up here, it's going to wobble and then it's going to collapse, right? So a square looks good, is not very good for a bridge though. What we need are triangles. So if I take my square and I bisect the angle, which means I just cut it in half, all right? So here's my square, put an extra one across here. There we go. Now, my square becomes two triangles. It becomes very, very rigid. I can hold it right here. I can bang on this part. It's not going anywhere. I can bang here. I can bang here. I can hit anywhere along this bridge, and it's very well supported. So when you're coming up to issues in Bridge Designer, a lot of times it's going to be because you don't have triangles in there somewhere. If there's any square or any kind of quadrilateral, any four-sided shape in there, it's going to give you errors and say, hey, this bridge isn't even going to work. So. Let's see. All right. Now Bridge Designer should be up and running here. Of course, it's on my other monitor right now. The first time you open it, you're going to see this menu right here. Let me get me out of your way. So you're going to see this little menu right here. I can create a new bridge design, I can load a sample bridge design, or I can load an existing one. So if you've already saved one before, this is what you would click on. Otherwise, create a new one, it's right here, and load a sample one right here. If you've never used this before, your first time starting out, I highly, highly recommend loading a sample bridge design. So when I hit load a sample bridge design and hit OK, this next screen is going to pop up. All right, so this next screen right here is a bunch of samples that are already built in to the program. So you've got suspension bridges, which have the cables suspending it, different types, the Pratt Deck Truss Bridge. So truss, that's what we're going to look for is a truss style. That's one we're going to use. Continuous arch, so here's an arch bridge. All right, so you can look through here, and I'm just going to click on one right here, our cable stayed bridge and I'm gonna hit OK. And then the screen pops up right here. So we can see we've got our bridge right here. We've got a bunch of tools up at the top and we've got this big uh, table over here with a bunch of fancy numbers on it. What it is is every single piece on the bridge over here on my left side 
all of the results from all the tests, all the physics information, all that is over here on the right side. So for example, let's get my tools. Oh, there we go. Sorry. So if I click on this piece right here, this is piece number four. Well, in my table right here is the piece number four. It is carbon steel bar, 140 millimeters, 14.42 uh, meters in length. It's slenderness. So a bunch of information from right here. Uh, if you want to get rid of this right now, hit the little X right here. If you ever want it back in the future, is this button right here. But we can get rid of it and so that way we have a larger area to work with right here. So I've got my I've got my tools right here. So this is how I can add pieces, add joints, erase pieces. So I can use my eraser to erase a piece. I can add this little uh, member tool right here to redraw it. And then when I'm ready to test my bridge up here at the top. I've got a little truck on top of a bridge right here. It says run the load test animation, this little blue button right here. When I click on that, it's gonna run a bridge. It's gonna run my truck over my bridge. And I see it failed right here. It's giving me a status, a little red circle. It failed. It failed because I had erased that piece and I made it differently. So let's go back here to go back. This little triangle button right here, it's a drafting triangle and a little ruler and buttons. When I hit that, that's going to go back and forth right there. And it's going to show me exactly which piece broke right there. Um, so that button right there and that button right there goes back and forth between my testing button and my drawing. Um, and I'm going to go back. Since I'm, I changed something, I, I've got an undo button just like most programs. I'm going to undo and I'm going to test it there. All right, so here we are back at the sample. Let me get this out of our way. Truck drives over the bridge. Excellent, all right? And it's just going to keep going across. When I get this little green triangle up here, that means it's good to go. Now you'll notice the blue and the red. Remember what two forces we've been playing with this whole time are tension and compression. So one of those is under compression, one of those is under tension. So let me pull up a different bridge style. You can see that a little bit better here. So again, to go back, hit this little thing right here. Open up a new bridge. Open up a sample design. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. Okay. So here I can see I've got a little pier here. Let's test it out. And I can see some of them are blue, some of them are red. And it crosses over that bridge. The darker it gets, the more force it, that it is. So the more tension or the more compression. Remember, compression is pushing together, tension is pulling apart. So if I made all of these pieces thinner, for example, you'll see it gets darker red and darker blue. Make them all really thin. Hopefully. Sort of. So what I'm doing is actually I'm making all the pieces thinner. So you can see that central pier right there. It's really dark red to the point where it's probably about to break. Oh no, he fell. That broke right there. So then you would go back and fix it, and it's going to show you which one failed in your test there. So that's basically how it's, this whole thing's going to work here. Um, so the way you make these pieces, so let's take that one. The way you make the bridge is with these members, these joints, and everything. I cannot just use this and just draw up here. What I first have to do is make what they call the joint, and I'd put that up here. And then I would connect that down to whatever I need right there. 
So I can see. All right, so I see that that one broke right there. I can also see right away if it's gonna work if I have a red circle right here or a green arrow. And I can see right there, yep, that one sure did break. All right, let me just make this a little bit bigger. All right, so testing it right away, I see that green arrow, I'm good. So my truck's gonna get across just fine, that's excellent, because these are all strong triangles. Remember what I said, this program hates quadrilaterals. So if I had something like this, so I have a four-sided figure, one, two, three, four, or it might actually even count this as a one, two, three, four, five. Remember, that's not, that's not stable. That's just gonna fall right over. So if I test it, it's gonna say, hey, it's not even gonna work. I can't even test it. Now, when you get this screen right here, you're gonna get the screen a lot. It's gonna say, hey, right here, you have a four-sided figure. This isn't saying exactly what is wrong with yours. It's saying here are some things that might be wrong with yours. So if you see, I have four examples right here. Example one, you have a four-sided figure, a rectangle rather than a triangle. Example two, it's unstable when two are connected in a straight line like that. Example three, your truss is unstable even though it's made of triangles. So maybe just those triangles won't work. Like if I made this bridge, it's just gonna collapse right here. And example four, it's also unstable because there's a four-sided figure on there, right? So looking at mine, I've got a one, two, three, four, five-sided figure. So let's just turn that into triangles. Let's put it right there, see what that does. So that's probably gonna be stable. Let's test it, and there we go. So because I had that four-sided figure, cut it into triangles, made it stable, all right? So now let us get more into what we're going to do with the assignment here.